plaintiff, Elena Schultz, rented a room in the defendant's home, and she claims 13 days after moving in, she realized the defendant had hidden cameras in her room. Elena says after the police investigated, they discovered the defendant had over 500 hours of Elena on tape. And she's suing him today for rent, a security deposit, and emotional distress. Defendant Michael Chaffetz says before Elena moved in, he rented a room to a masseuse who wanted the cameras installed for safety purposes. Michael insists the cameras were disconnected after that tenant moved out, and he never videotaped Elena. He's countersuing for defamation and harassment. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, uh, I would first like to start off saying and letting the whole world know that this man, Mr. Shafitz, is a disgusting, nasty pervert. Uh, he um, was basically filming me without my knowledge. Lies. He had put hidden cameras in my room. I'd rented He's a room from him. He's your landlord, obviously. Yes, sir. I had put hidden, he put hidden cameras in my room. I moved in on April 1st, 2014. On, 2000, um, on April 13th, 2014, I had taken a shower. I got out of the shower. I was drying off with my towel and noticed there was a motion detector in the corner of my room. I thought it was odd looking. I jumped up on the dresser and I opened up the motion detector and there was a camera in there. Then I looked over and there was a smoke detector, which also looked odd, shined a light on the, sh the smoke detector, another camera. This man was also watching me as this happened. I, the motion I was going through, Your Honor, I can't even describe. I immediately am thinking, is this person gonna come down and kick in my door and bring me down the garage and bury me in a ditch? Yeah. I knew him for 13 days. I don't know him. He could do anything to me. So wow. I locked the door, called the police. I was in there waiting for the police. He knocked on my door three times because he'd watched me and known that I had found the cameras. While I was waiting for the police, um, he left the residence. Uh, the police showed up. I gave them my statement. I found out that he had over 500 hours of me on his DVR. He had also... Not true. He had also admitted to filming me for his own sexual pleasures. <laughs> Never. Okay, he's, uh, he's denying all of this. Never. So before you go any further, let me allow him to address the things that you said. Uh, sir, what do you say to this? She says that uh, you were her landlord and she found hidden cameras uh, where you were taping her, uh, I guess in the nude as well when you were in the room. Or Showering. Changing my clothes. Everything else. Being, dressing, being naked. Never. And you had 500 days. hours of it? Over 500 hours the detectives found in his DVR. Uh, sir, what do you say to this? Well, Your Honor, first I'd like to uh, tell you that I made an unfortunate mistake of renting a room to Elena, who's a known drug user, ex-stripper from Las Vegas. Not true. Who has been, as a matter of fact, this man told me that, first of all. Uh, who's ever since been uh, trying to extort money from me from that day. Uh, basically, around April 1st, like she stated, uh, she came to me via a service that conducts background checks, so I felt comfortable renting to her you know, right away because she said she was living in her car, so she needed a place to live right away. So prior to that, I did have a renter in there who was a massage therapist, and she had me set up cameras for her safety while she gave massages in the room, and that was, her, that was a different person prior to her. Because she moved in that day, I didn't have a chance to take the cameras out. I, I didn't, uh, but they were not connected in the first place. So she has no hours of anything. Your Honor, everything you say is Quiet, man, quiet. If, Let if me she has proof of that, this. I'd like to see it. But there was no, nothing was ever I done. I know you was, would like to see yeah. it. Go yeah, ahead. right, right, right. What else? Not with her, though. She's uh, far from attractive. Okay. Anyways. Uh, All right. What do you have the dog here for? Uh, he's my medical dog, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that a big dog, pit yeah. bull? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not vicious, obviously. Not at all. So all anyways, right. I'd like to also state that I did, because of all this, get now, it. Let me go back to her now. Oh, You've okay, denied yeah. everything, okay. and you told me the circumstances right. under which she moved in, and you said, uh, you've spoken of her character. You said she's a stripper, and what else did you say she was? A uh, drug user. A drug user and yeah. a stripper. What drugs does she use? What type? Uh, as far as I saw while she was living there, uh, methamphetamine and marijuana. You were there? 
Oh, yeah. I lived Y'all did it together? No, she did. No. Oh, in front of you, yep. she did it. <laughs> yep. So what were y'all doing? Give me the give me the scenario there. Your Honor, when she was doing crystal meth in front of you, you all were just talking, reading the yep. Bible. Yep. What? Yeah. Yep. You were reading the Bible. No talking. Talking about what? The Bible. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> all right. Good enough. Good enough. Let's see. You go ahead, ma'am. You Your finish Honor, what you're telling. First me. off, this gentleman, the day I ma- I called the police. He was arrested for methamphetamine, actually. That she planted um, in my room. I planted. It says right here. Yeah. You um, she in, planted in your room. She you planted. were doing the meth while you, you were reading the Bible, huh? Yeah. I yeah. have I have yeah. no prior convictions of any methamphetamine use. This man has five. Yeah. We have him admit five. Yeah. You have five, five convictions? For convictions. Sir, I'm talking to me. Do you have five convictions for using crystal meth? Not that meth? I know of. Do you have any evidence yes, of that? Yes, sir. Because um, you got to give me some evidence of all this stuff you're saying. The day, the you said, let me see the five convictions first. The day because he, I he made this flatly report, denies it. The, uh, the day, day you I, what? The day I made the report, he was arrested for methamphetamine. Uh, the police had asked whose fingerprints would be on the baggies. He said his would be and not mine. Um, after that, he also admitted in that report, sir, that he was filming me for his sexual pleasures. He stated it twice. Um, I also have prior police reports of him being arrested for um, controlled substances right here, sir, uh, 2009. And there was also two of them in 2014. Let me see those. And also, um, oh, I no. have pictures. So I thought you might have been, but certainly now you, I'm convinced you are a nut. <laughs> you come in here, you have five convictions for crystal meth, and let me read what you told the police. He quickly added that he did not watch all the time, <laughs> but he had gone back on the DVR and reviewed old footage of Schultz. That's not true. He said he, that he, you, police lied, and they came up with this I mean, conversation. He said that she usually just walked around, and whenever the camera sensed movement, they would automatically start recording. You didn't tell the police this? No, so that was about the prior tenant. He admitted that he had been turned on by watching, and that it was not for true. his own personal sexual satisfaction. Not true. You didn't tell the police not that true. either? Not true. You didn't tell no, them I that, did not. you no. nasty freak. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> No, I did not. Now, sue me for defamation like you're doing her. That's called opinion. Taping this woman while she's naked. You actually admit it to the police? The, the, the court, for your own sexual satisfaction? That court was dismissed. The DA yeah, dismissed. right. So let me see. Probably a DA technicality. I yep. bet you it was exactly. a technicality. Technicality. technicality? Yes, right. What did they what say? Technicality. The, they the technicality it. was, Your Honor, that um, the way the police went about getting the search warrant was yeah. there was a problem with it. Because you admitted to the police and you have these five convictions of crystal sleeping, meth just like you these denied. These from Not him true. watching me sleeping in my room. Okay. I thought Not true. all women need to know how sick he is. Women need to know, they need to know that he is disgusting. I can't go one day without thinking about your honor every day. I can't even go use a rest. Is this all you want, ma'am? You should have went to a higher court of jurisdiction instead of getting this little (laughs) $5,000. What is your counterclaim? How does she defame you, sir? First of all, she she comes to me a week later, Mm -hmm. strong arming me saying she's going to charge me $5,000. And that's just a start. For what? For what? For, for yeah. who knows? That's what I'm saying. For who That's knows? If you don't <laughs> yeah. know, your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. Judgment yeah. for the plaintiff. Thank you. Yeah. Watch out. He'll film you. He'll sexually arouse himself and do sick pleasures to himself while he shoots up methamphetamine. Obviously, he's 50 years old. He brought an 18 year old with him. He's disgusting. I thought it was funny that uh, a motion detector turned on and took pictures while she was sleeping. With no motion. How did that happen? 